Hey guys, so for this video I'll be making an unboxing for 2AM's uh, third mini album Nocturne. I've been meaning to get this album for the longest time. I actually just uploaded a collection video for 2AM, so if you're curious about that, um, of the things I have, you can check that video out if you want to. But I actually talked about this, <laughs> about getting it soon, and I actually found it at a very good price along with the 2PM's first Japanese full length album. Brand new, both of these items, so again, uh, if you're curious about that, I made I just filmed an unboxing for it and um, uploaded it. And yeah, so this completes my collection and I'm so happy for it. Uh, I might get the regular edition of the I Can't Let You Go Even If I Die um, mini album. But this was um, the missing, pu missing piece of the puzzle for my collection. I might get their first full length album voice in Japan, but who knows, I'll, I'll wait a little bit longer because again, I didn't listen to much of their Japanese material and it's just very sad that 2PM doesn't promote that much. And they were like one of my ultimate favorite groups of, in K-pop of all time, so. Um, this kind of follows the packaging of like, just that classic K-pop packaging. So we got the disc right here, and then uh, photos of them. So um, I wanted to mainly make a, a video for them, kind of just unbox something from 2 a.m. and talk about them. Uh, yeah, so here we have Genie Coats if you want this. And I guess an advertisement, so 2 a.m. Okay, then we got Joe Kwan, who's kind of just doing a lot of things he did. A, um, he was on a musical and he's um, on a lot of um, variety shows um, more advertisements and then Jinun who is um, doing like his own solo stuff I'm not too um, not the biggest fan of Jinun's solo things but you know then Sulong who is doing solo stuff as well, like solo music. Um, and I really want them to make like a maybe an anniversary video, uh, anniversary comeback next year because they debuted in 2008. So um, at least do a reunion or a farewell um, album because they are they're all signed on into different companies at the moment. So it's difficult to, you know, have to record an album. The good thing is that you can see that they're still, like, really good friends and, yeah. I don't know. But I miss them so much. Oh, and then Changmin, like, he did some... He was a... He was a, in a like project group with a I forgot his name but he has a album with him so I think I might get that I actually kind of forgot about it um, but I really really want a Joe Kwan solo because he is one of my ultimate biases in K-pop this has five tracks it's a decent mini album it's it fits kind of like every, um, like you can listen to this just to study like any time of the year. So I like that because sometimes their albums are either like either winter or like spring, like the mood that it's in. Um, yeah, so that's it for this album. If you have any other questions or you want to see an unboxing for some of the previous albums you can look at my collection video for 2am and I can make a separate video um, uh, if regarding 2am 2 2 <laughs> like switching from 2am to pm but yeah so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed uh, this video bye